competition here, you can see exactly why the WWE Universe is so amped up for this one. One of the best competitors around, ready to show her skills. Here comes trouble. Corey, can a superstar endure the numbers disadvantage for the duration of that match? I don't care who you are, this is not a good situation. The team with the numbers advantage can take their time and be methodical in punishing their opponent. She can end it here. Surprisingly quick kick out. Not yet. And she dodged that one nicely. Ah, oh, gets cracked by the overhand. That'll cross some teeth. I know the WWE Universe thinks that handicap matches are unfair and predictable, but I think it's important to note that it's absolutely possible to have the numbers advantage and still end up on the losing end. In fact, we've seen it happen often. That's why the team with the numbers can't get too confident in a match like this. It could create an instant opening that negates any and all natural advantage. Clearly waiting for that. Quick exchange of counters there. Delivered into the barricade. Stomping. Ouch. She anticipated that one. Double chicken wing. Tiger suplex. Right on the back of the neck. And look at her feeding off the WWE Universe's energy. Oh, yeah. She is really getting fired up. Trap the arm. Neck breaker. So smooth. the tables. What a wrist plus suplex. Cover. Shoulders are down. She kicks out at one. Just kicking out at one takes a lot in a match like this. Look at this. Snap suplex. And shoulders are down. She's still in this one. Dodges. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. DDT. Uh-oh. Effectively targeting the arm. Sure. Impressive reversal there. Close the line. And she gets herself out of a precarious position. Knee right to the gut. Strikes with a kick. Dodge right on cue. Oh, close line. With the counter. That offense really hitting her hard. Not sure if I panic, but certainly some cause for concern here. Well, that'll leave a mark. 
And she'll make the tag. She was clearly waiting for that. Right after the neck. Oh, back first. Bang! She had it scouted. Oh, my God. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. Whoa, drop kick all the way to the outside. She returns the favor there. Foot to the belly. Able to get the advantage here. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Now that'll do some serious damage. We might be close to the end. Truly fighting to the last breath, but we might be coming up on that soon. Measured knee drop. She's feeling it, and the WWE Universe is feeling it too. She is really getting fired up. High knee right between the shoulders. Improving a bit slippery for them there. Systematic attack on that shoulder. She adjusts it and reverses it. <laughs> Running Hurricane Rana. Fantastic. And we see the attention being put on the torso area. Uh oh. What a takedown. Fujiwara on bar. Going after the arm. Fujiwara armbar, incredible pressure. Scratching and clawing, this could be it. And she kicks out right away. Amazing. Eye <laughs> of the counter. Oh, what a play. Gets the tag. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. She's fighting back. A sequence of reversals there. Close line! Off with their head. She's about to rise up to something catastrophic. To the gut. Double underhook. Are we going to see it? That's not it. I don't know what is. Two. Finally over. And here's another look at what made that match so special. Wow, a tremendous win in this match. We call a lot of matches, but this one's going to stick in my mind for weeks to come. I agree with you on that, Corey. This one was unforgettable.